the gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel reading today, we hear the healing of the blind men, in which we are being reminded once again of the the necessity that the sense of sight is to is so important for it is a faculty that we have we must have so that we can see things and our senses are so important we could just imagine if we have lost the sense of sight and this is one that would really affect us in our relationship. Earlier, we, we have heard in our early reflections that once you are afflicted with this kind of deprivation, you are deprived of your sense of sight. Is one of the indicator that you have deprived not only this sense of seeing, but you have been deprived with a lot of things in life. You are not living a very normal life, but you are being set aside by the community. You are deprived socially. And the worst is that people regarded you someone who had committed a grave sin that is why uh, you've been cursed by being blind and blind people in the time of jesus are outcasts in the community blind people in the time of jesus have been regarded as sinners because they've been cursed because they have inherited a sin perhaps of the ancestors. But we see the response of this blind man. Hearing that Jesus is coming, then when Jesus passed by, he started shouting, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. They rebuked him, told him to be silent. But he kept calling out all the more. He said, Son of David, have pity on me. We might as well see ourselves that at times when we, we are in this kind of situation, we might as well living in, in seclusion, wallowing self-pity, isolation. But there's one thing that we are being inspired by this blind man. His determination and persistence and belief that he will be healed by Jesus. And Jesus is stopped, ordered, and brought to him. And Jesus said to him, what do you want me to do for you? He said, Lord, please let me see. And Jesus told him, have sight, your faith has saved you. In our day-to-day -day living, this is an invitation for us, for us to always live the, in our faith with conviction and determination and belief because this sustains us. Our faith sustains us and our faith will save us. Again, in our gospel reading today, Jesus said to the blind man, Have sight, your faith has to save you. Let us continuously live our faith, nourished by our prayers and our charitable acts. For we know as long as we believed, we will be saved. That's why I sustain our faith with Jesus, with our prayers, with our devotions, with our commitment 
to continuously, meaningfully connected with God, with Jesus, through prayers. As long as we believe, we will be healed. As long as we believe, we will be saved. Amen.